Today is April 15th, tax day, or as Trump and company like to call it, April Fool's Day. It's also three days before the Mueller light report is revealed to us, redacted appropriately for our tender eyes and Trump's tender feels. Meanwhile, the cries for Congress to see the full, unredacted Mueller report are going unanswered. Our dollar is being dragged down to the aluminum standard as Mitch McConnell sells his soul to sanctioned Russian oligarch Oleg Deripaska and Kremlin oil oligarch Len Blavatnik for a Rusal aluminum plant to be built in, of all places, McConnell's home state of Kentucky, according to CNN. Trump is off on another U.S. paid promotional tour in Minnesota after we paid $100 million for his numerous for-profit vacations at his properties. We haven't seen his taxes yet, and his attorneys are threatening the accounting firm that agreed to comply with a subpoena to hand them over. And over it all, Putin laughs in triumph at the grand gignol he's made of our democracy. The world treasure of Notre Dame is burning, the climate is changing, and the hearts of the GOP freeze a little bit harder. Now they are threatening to kick veterans who suffer from PTSD off of disability if they appear too happy. Dot dot but the day of judgment is coming. The levees are breaking and a flood of biblical proportions is soon to be at our doorstep. The tax returns will show Trump to be a crook. The Mueller report will prove him a traitor. Right now there are rumors across social media that his people are attempting to negotiate an exit for him before Thursday. Don't believe it. This guy has too much at stake and there are too many villains watching his back. He's raking in the donations for a second term, so he won't go without a fight.